They race towards the turn in the arc and see the stars. He's got six or seven lengths to make up. He'll have to be a champion. He is a champion, I reckon. See the stars racing away. Perfection in equine form. A horse of a lifetime. Keep your clever line. In October this year, the Irish horse See the Stars proved himself one of the greatest racehorses of all time. He and jockey Mick Canan capped a phenomenal season by striding to victory in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Winning six classic Group 1 races, including the 2000 Guineas and the English Derby in the one year, is something no other horse has ever achieved. Owned by Hong Kong businessman Christopher Choi, the three-year-old colt was trained by leading Irish horse trainer John Ox. On Sea the Star's last day in the stables, I was lucky enough to meet him. Here he is. He's always looking out. He's a very inquisitive horse. He's, he's very Irish, you know. He wants to look out all the time, afraid he'd miss something. <laughs> so, uh, Wow. Oh How exciting. Well, there he is. Say hello now. He's a nice temperament. He has, he has. Hello. But you want to watch, always watch a, a colt. You know, a nice temperament is all very fine, but then still take a nip out of you just for, <laughs> just for fun. But he's, yeah, he's lovely. He's a. It's very thrilling to be able to even touch him. <laughs> yeah, well, he's uh, he's uh, he's a terrific specimen of a thoroughbred. You know, he's yeah. the, the perfect, perfect horse. He's big and strong and athletic and beautifully proportioned. Has great balance and movement. You know, he walks and trots like a ballet dancer. See the Stars was born in 2006 at the Irish National Stud. His father was Cape Cross, his mother Urban Sea, herself a winner in the Arc de Triomphe. At 18 months of age, he came here to John Ox's yard, Currabeg, where his remarkable story began. We knew we had a nice horse. Uh, we knew he was a classic contender, as we'd call him, a uh, horse for the, for the derby, we thought, and maybe the 2,000 guineas. Slowly, Alex. Of course, we didn't know he was going to win all these races and be as good as he was. You, you, you never know that. So it was a nerve-wracking time enough, uh, first of all, to see if he would measure up, of course. But it's only when he started winning that you really got it. <laughs> that's it. They can yeah. all have the, poten all the potential in the world, <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's only one test, and that's the battle. Yeah. Uh, that's the race course test. They've got to live up to it and come through them. And in his case, to be one of the greats, he had to win all his races. He yeah. couldn't lose one, mm. you know? So what is it that makes one horse truly great? What separates him from the rest? First of all, he's got height. Yes. He's got, you know, he's 16, two and a half. He's a fine big horse. He's got this great range. He's a tremendous, a tremendous uh, length from the, where the girth is right to his ears. But then he's got tremendous muscles. He's real big, strong quarters, you know, yeah. if you want to. Put your Just hand on here. There. I mean, you know, this is yeah, the muscle big, that really big second thigh you call flexes. that, and this this muscle here, that's very it's huge in him, you know. So all all this power behind, he really drives his hind legs in under him when he's galloping, you know. And the difference between the physicality of a horse like this and on what's inside his head and his personality, because he does have a kind of curiosity and a and a calmness to him that is quite remarkable. He has a great calmness. I think that's been a part of his public appeal. Actually, people have watched him in the parade before the race and he's just walked around as quite a cool customer, cool, yeah. cool customer you know, ready ready for what's ahead just total completely brave you know no fear the signals given and away they bounce and what was ahead was an intense season of six top level races in six short months see the stars comes after him a lot of people wouldn't realize what a tough test that is to uh, for a young horse for a three-year-old to come through that the breeding of the thoroughbred is based on that test that they have to have the precocity to be developed enough as three-year-olds to run in these classic races and uh, come through them. See the stars, the champion he is, strides to glory. That's what the whole uh, breeding of the thoroughbred over 300 years has been based on, those tests. The trainer is also tested. With each race, the stakes got bigger and people's expectations increased. You're hoping to add to his reputation and, and not, not lose anything. Uh, so every, every, every day is a risk to some extent, but you can't be afraid of that, you know. If you're afraid of losing, you, you'd be afraid to get out of bed in the morning. So you can never fear that. When you were up in the stands at the Ark in his other five races, are you screaming? Are you shouting? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quiet. Uh, just watch it and don't, don't shout. Everyone, and how's the heart? Every, 
Uh, well, your heart would be beating uh, pretty fast, <laughs> all right. It's, uh, it is a bit nerve-wracking, but you know, there's nothing you can do. You get philosophical as you get older. I don't get as nervous as I used to get. Uh, but we'll see the stars, I must admit, it was a bit different. Everybody wants them to win, you know, and, and he really he's running for everybody, you know, and you hate to, you'd hate to see people disappointed. For a horse to reach its full potential, it's important that they're in capable hands. John is a master of his craft. He is a very patient man. He's not a man who rushes his horses. He's not looking to win the first race of the season. Um, he does everything with the horse's welfare in mind. Um, John just produced this horse in pristine condition every time. Now retired, the greatest champion of his day will be in huge demand to sire the champions of tomorrow. See the Stars will stand at Giltown, the Aga Khan stud farm in Kildare. So this is like the Ritz Carlton of studs. This is incredible. Nice place to retire to, anyway. Comfortable surroundings for him. So it's this gorgeous. is where he'll be. Um, it's huge as well, isn't it? It is. I mean, it, it's a normal stable, other than the dimensions of it would be greater than you would get in a normal stable. It's not always the case that fabulous racehorses make fabulous stallions, but the horse's credentials are just impeccable. Mm. He really does tick every box. Ireland is the third biggest producer of thoroughbred foals in the world. At stud, see the stars will command fees of 85,000 euro per mare, a welcome boost to an industry that employs over 20,000 people here in Ireland. There will be mares coming from America, there will be mares coming from Europe. It's remarkable for the industry and very, very important. It now goes to stud here in Ireland. Our industry has the same difficulties that all other businesses have and it's a difficult time for it. This is a great sort of shot in the arm for the business that he is going to, to stand here. I just look forward to the next 20, 30 years and seeing his, his name appearing in pedigrees of good horses for the next couple of decades. See the stars will leave behind some good friends at Currabeg Stables, not least those who worked with him on a daily basis. You know, he's going to a good place and he'll be getting the, the best of the ladies coming to see him, so he'll be grand. Don't be a life of pleasure ahead, oh, that's well, definitely yeah, true. Yeah. What's it going to be like not having him every morning to look after? Ah, it'll be, it'll be hard, it'll be hard because you're so used to, you know, coming up around the corner there and seeing him there and waiting for, yeah. you know, waiting for his apples and his grass, like, you know, and you know, it's, it's going to be, yeah, well, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, Hard when you come around the corner, he's not there. He's going off to a beautiful place, beautiful farm, and lovely big paddock, and plenty of trees, and lots of grass, and, and lots of beautiful women ahead of him. And lots of, yes, a whole <laughs> harem ahead, and beautiful stable for him, and a wonderful place. So uh, uh, he deserves it, obviously, and uh, I hope he has a long, happy life.